Jimmer leggings. Perfect for the gym. Elegant for evenings. Comfortable for all occasions. Stand out. Be yourself. Hey, Jimra, Laura Myron here. We have an awesome workout for you today. Cardio strength with a focus on butt and abs. So we're really gonna strengthen and tone the glutes and strengthen and tone the core. All around awesome workout. Let's get started. So lift one knee up, step back, step, step, knee. Step, 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 knee. Right, left, right, left, knee. Left, right, left, knee. Now, let's add those arms. Push. So, just getting warmed up. Each exercise is gonna be 50 seconds. So I'm gonna do all the timing for you. By I, I mean someone else. <laughs> and the only recovery you get is just a few seconds between each exercise while I demo the next one, yes? Which means no recovery for me. <laughs> That's okay. I'm excited for it. Knee. All right, we're almost there. A few more. Arms up, push. Arms up, push down. We got about 10 seconds left. Three, two, last one. Here we go. All right, second exercise. One jack, right kick. One jack, left front kick. Option tap, here we go. Jack and kick, jack, right kick, jack, left kick. Right kick, jack, left kick. Option, yes, tap left, kick left, tap right, kick right, otherwise jack. Everybody's doing those arms, big arms, right? The bigger the movement, the more muscles we engage, the more we get that heart rate up. And it's okay to modify, it's okay to take it to the tap. Every time you lift the knee, use your core. Every time you hop, engage your core. So basically, keep your abs tight. Two, last one, time. Perfect, I almost lost my balance. Squat, side kick, squat, other side. Three, two, one, and go. Squat down, kick. I want you to just focus on making these fast, strong movements. Now let's add an arm. Kick right, punch right. Kick left, punch left. Just to get those arms moving and going. Lift your belly button up. Yes, draw your navel up and in. Ooh, I'm feeling it already. It's a good thing it's a nice windy day here at the beach. <laughs> Keeps me nice and cool. Come on. So we're gonna do this quick workout. You're gonna look good, you're gonna feel good. Last two, last one, and time. I call these the pendulum. You're gonna step your right leg out, keep it straight. You're just tapping your foot, hop together, Tap, right? Don't put any weight on this outside leg. Here we go. Hop, hop. You're just tapping the leg out. Yeah, so don't step on the outside straight leg. Keep your weight right here in the center. Whew. Deep breaths. If I use sound effects, it makes me feel better. Woo! I've got all sorts of sound effects. All right, we can add some arms, punching down. Just tap the leg out. You know I love my punches and kicks. Gotta take out that anger, that aggression in a good, healthy way. Two, one, time. Okay, right side kick. Left arm uppercut, uh-huh. Right side kick, left uppercut, let's go. Kick, cut, kick, 
kick. Lift your back heel on the punch. Pivot your hips. So your hips turn to face the side on the punch. I used to take Muay Thai and it helped that I had a huge crush on my instructor. <laughs> That's always good motivation. <sighs> Kick. Oh my God, I hope he's not watching this. <laughs> okay, <laughs> keep going. Bend your knees on the punch. The power is in the turning and the pivot of those hips. Remember, let's make this about speed to get those heart rates up. Three, two, one. Second side, right into it. Left kick, right uppercut. Left kick, right uppercut. Left, right under the chin with the cut. Let's go, pick up that pace. Left, turn. So, butt and core. This is all butt and core. Booty to lift the leg. Core is engaged to lift the leg. Core is engaged for the punch and for your twist. Turn. Uh-huh. So who are you picturing there? <laughs> I'm not picturing my Muay Thai instructor punching him. He's just standing around watching me for motivation. <laughs> punch, kick, punch, kick. Keep those arms up. Point your toe on the kick. Three, two, one, done. All right, let's go into it. Plyo lunge and a jack. So, lunge, hop, jack, together. Lunge, hop, jack, together. Let's go, 50 seconds. Lunge, hop, jack, together. Other side, lunge, hop, jack. Option, step, jack, step, jack, or lunge. What are we working? The booty. Working those legs. So bend your knees. Keep that weight in your front heel. Move your arms. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here. We've got the ocean, it's beautiful blue skies. So lucky, good motivation. Even if it's February, even if it's dreary in winter, that doesn't matter. You're still motivated, you're still doing it. Three, two, time. All right, next one. Our favorite, burpees. So, you're going to step your hands to the ground, step back, plank jack, step or hop forward, and a star jump. Ah, here we go. 50 seconds, go. Step or hop back, out in. Out in. Step or hop. Out in. Step or hop. Up. Out in. Sand everywhere. <laughs> this is going to be your hardest cardio exercise. And we're going to get through it together. You know that people all over the world are doing their workout. 6 a.m. 6 p.m., midnight, whatever. <laughs> You're gonna need some yoga with me after this. <laughs> Few more, stay with me. Plant your hands down. Last time, and time. One more cardio exercise. You're going to skater. Right, left, hop, left, Right, together, hop, let's go. Right, left, hop, left, right, up, up. Come on, just one more cardio. And we head right into that strength, really hitting the butt, the abs, and everything. Now, if you have more space than me, really take up some space on your skaters. Really go side to side. Make it big. Arms up. Come on, no excuses. Excuses doesn't get it done. Excuses doesn't get you to your goal. Last one. Time. 
All right, heading into our strength portion. So grab your weights, five pounds, 10 pounds, 45 pounds. Do it, all right? Now hinge over at the hips. So you're also working your butt here. Lift and engage to your core. It's a reverse fly. Up and down, you got this. We're on the clock for 50 seconds. Power up, and you wanna think slow on the way down. Yes, try not to have your back rounded, and by try, I mean don't. Yes, I'd rather see you up a little bit higher. And you wanna hinge at the hips. You gotta work that booty. All about the booty. Elbows slightly bent. Working the whole back side here, back muscles. And just have your neck long. So try not to let the head drop. Just keeping the sides of your neck long, chin off your chest. Remember, don't let the belly drop. Lift and engage to your core. Keep those knees bent. Two more. Last one, and time. All right, side leg lift with a bicep curl. Three, two, one, and go. So we're working the glutes, the outer hip, the abductors. Keep a slight bend in your standing knee. Shoulders roll back, yes? We're gonna form our muscles with really beautiful, good posture, yes? Because the muscles pull on your bones. So if you're having slouchy posture and forming your muscles that way, that's how your body's gonna look, and we don't want that. A few more on this side. Working your balance, try not to let your foot touch the ground at all. Working the biceps, the glutes, the legs. Last three, last two, one more, and second side. Here we go, now, let's hit the triceps, let's hit the back of the arms. Elbows bent, elbows in, lift the leg and the arms up, and bend. I know this one's a little bit harder. Let's go, up, down. If you find one spot to look at that's not moving, that will help with your balance. <sighs> Try and find a hold when you lift the leg, yeah? Not just throwing the leg out. You wanna hold slow. Lift with power, lower with control. Lift with power, lower with control. If you lose your balance like I did, it's all good, you keep going. We don't stop. We don't let something small like that get in our way or frustrate us. And if you get frustrated or angry, you gotta use that for good. Take that energy, put it into your workout. Put it into a run. Go do some yoga. Last two, last one, and time. Down for a plank row. Your option is gonna be on hands and knees, all fours. Otherwise, you can step your knees back. Plank on your knees, or a full plank row. Three, two, one, and go. Now, I know some people don't like their hands on the weights. Yes, yeah, so you can put the weight down and pick it up every time. I actually like my hands on the weights, so I'm gonna stick with that. Try not to let your hips shimmy and shake around. I'm all about shimmy shaking them hips <laughs> at the appropriate time. I want you to squeeze your butt. Yes, yeah, so work your butt, squeeze your butt. That's gonna help stabilize the hips. And also, of course, we're working the obliques lifting and engaging through the lower belly. So we're working basically everything. Back, core, legs, butt. Three, two, and time. Okay, sit down, lay down. Don't get comfortable. <laughs> so, legs up, you can have your knees bent or the legs straight. You're gonna open the arms, lift, Crunch up, down, up. So, working of course, abs, chest, straightening your legs, using your quadriceps to straighten your legs. So this is not meant to be over straining your neck. Yeah, so I'm pretty much keeping my neck neutral, which means I'm not bringing my chin to my chest. That's not sexy. Just keep your neck nice and long. Down, 
Breathing helps everything. <laughs> yeah, except anxiety. Breathing doesn't help anxiety or stress. <laughs> it helps to relieve it, but it doesn't help build anxiety or stress. Yeah, we want to focus on working and building up the good muscles of our body and mind. Last one. And time. Okay, feet down. Arms up over your chest, okay? They're not gonna go any further than here. <clears throat> now, your butt up, you're gonna lower your butt to the ground, tap your waist to the ground behind you, these are called pullovers, and then lift the weights just over your chest, not to your hips, just over your chest. Here we go. Down, squeeze. Down, squeeze. What are we working? We're working the booty. <laughs> Down, squeeze. Down, you're also getting your back muscles activated here with the pullover. Now, I can't see anything. <laughs> the sun is so bright, so I'm literally laying here with my eyes closed. <laughs> but I can feel it. Yes, I want you to feel it. Lift your butt, squeeze your abs at the top. Press down through your heels and pretend you're pulling your feet to your head every time you lift up. Pretend you're pulling and dragging your feet back towards your head. Don't actually move them, just pretend. Your feet are not out here. Knees over the ankles at the top. Feel, one more. And time. All right, let's stand all the way up. Warrior three leg lifts. So, I'm gonna hinge over at the hips, arms straight down underneath your shoulders. You will lift one leg up, lift the arms, come down and switch three two one and go arms and legs arms and leg I don't think you can lift both legs at the same time that's a good talent though so work in the whole backside here booty back lift and hold remember I want that hold at the top because momentum is not a muscle so why don't you work those muscles. Try to keep your hips relatively still. Slight lumbar curve, which means we're not rounding here. Lift and hold. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm feeling my back. Last one. And done. Okay, no weights for the next one. We're going into plank. One leg up, 30 seconds on each side. You're gonna pulse up. Three, two, one, and go. Now, of course, you can modify coming to the knees. Otherwise, you stay in plank with me. It's not here. Get those shoulders over your wrists. We don't cheat. Cheating doesn't get results. Putting in the work, putting in the effort gets the results. Eight more, seven, six, Five. Try not to lower your knees to the ground. Switch sides. Let's go. Oh my peach. <laughs> oh my glutes. Glutes and abs here. We're working right now. You only have a few more exercises and guess what? I'm even going to let you hold a down dog here. Once we're done. Eight. Seven. Squeeze. Six. Four, chin off your chest. Oh, down dog, hold. Send your butt up and towards the beautiful ocean. Send your butt up towards the sun. <laughs> okay, that was your rest. Grab those weights, up we go. Sumo squat, side leg lift. Squat, leg lift. Let's go. Toes turned out, super wide stance, yes? Squeeze those inner thighs together as you go down. Work your booty as you go up. So we're hitting in and out. You can have your weights really wherever you want. Yeah, I like them here and by the hips for this one. You're even working your core, those obliques, when you lift the leg up. You guys, we only have two more exercises after this. Then we're going to go into a little yoga cool down. 
keep the core engaged, lift through the belly button. Last two, last one, and done. Here we go. Step back into a lunge, lift the knee up, stand up, fall down, <laughs> perform a shoulder press, come down into the lunge, and go. 50 seconds on each side. Bend your knees 90 degrees. Okay, I have to look at one spot out in front of me to keep my balance. And especially towards the end of the workout, the muscles are tired, it gets harder to balance. So this is an extra challenge. Guess what we work when we're working our balance? Our abs. <laughs> so work them. Yeah, you saw me put my foot to the ground, that's okay. Bend 90, push up. Woo, catch your breath here, breathe in through the nose. One more on this side. Excellent, second side, let's do it. Step back, knee up, arms up. Foot down, arms down, knee up, arms up. Believe in yourself. You have to talk to yourself. I can do this, I'm getting stronger. If you don't believe it's possible, it's not gonna happen, yeah? Whether you believe it's right or you believe you're wrong, you're right. <laughs> so believe in yourself. Picture yourself at your goal weight, at your goal fitness level. Feel that in your body. You have to put that kind of energy into your body, into your mind. A few more. Last one. And done. Okay. Last exercise. I call these woman makers. <laughs> my, my coach called them man makers. Step your weights down. Step back. Row. We did these already. One push up from your knees or toes. Step or hop forward. Stand up with the weights. Let's go. Last exercise. Down. Step or hop out. Row. Push up. Step or hop forward. Stand up. Down. Remember, you can do this on your knees. The important part is you keep going, you stay focused, and you finish. Maybe you just do the rows on your toes and you come to your knees for the push up. Row. Row. Push up. Step or hop forward. Up. Squeeze your butt. Maybe the knees come down, maybe not. You're finishing it. You are finishing it. <laughs> oh, we saved the best for last, didn't we? Last one, finish that push up. Stand it up. Oh, and we did it. All right, put those weights off to the side. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, arms down by your side. Lift your chest up. And again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down, chest up. And again, inhale, arms up. Hips over to the left. Tip over to the right. And up. And switch. So if you're leaning over to the left, your hips go to the right. Use your legs. Inhale up. And again, interlace your fingers behind your back. Stick your chest out. Good. Inhale, lift the arms. Step the left foot back into a lunge. Hands on your thighs. Crescent lunge. Left arm forward, right arm back for a twist. Arms up. Step forward. Inhale up. Exhale, step the right foot back. Other side. Find your balance. Crescent lunge, arms up. Oh, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of me. <laughs> Press your glutes forward. Good, step all the way back forward. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to the ground, bend your knees as much as you need to. Drop your head, heel toe your feet apart. Heels on the mat, toes off. Yes, so have your feet nice and wide. You can stay here or bring your elbows to the inner thighs. Inhale, up. 
Exhale, drop the butt, keep the chest up. Again, inhale. Exhale, getting control over the breath. Inhale. Exhale, butt down, chest up. One more like that, inhale. Exhale, oh, thank you, breeze. <laughs> thank you, universe, for that breeze. I need it. Inhale, all the way back up and bring those feet together. Good, turn and face me, fix your shorts. <laughs> turn your right toes out, let's go warrior two. Bend your right knee. Right into reverse warrior. So gonna reach out through your knee, stretch out through the right arm. All the way back to warrior two, straighten your legs. Super long triangle pose. So you can have your feet pretty far apart. Turn the back toes in. Yeah, so your back left toes are further forward than the heel. If your hand comes to the ground, fine. It's on your shin, fine. Just try not to pressure it onto your knee. Yeah? Lift your top shoulder up. Okay, back to warrior two. Reverse warrior. Warrior two triangle. Let's just move through the body. Here we go. Reverse. And all the way down to triangle. One more time, just like that. Reverse. Oh, bend the knee. And down to triangle. Good. Keep the legs straight. Squeeze your thighs together. Up and switch sides. Bend your left knee. Warrior two. Heel to heel or heel to arch alignment is great for this one. Draw the navel up and in. Reverse warrior. Try not to push into your knee. You're just resting your hand on the leg. All the way down to triangle. Reach out through your chest. Turn your chest open. And here we go. Let's move through it. You're almost there. Reverse warrior. Down to triangle. You're moving through the shoulder joints, moving through the hips. Two more. Last one. Keep the legs straight, squeeze your thighs together, come up, parallel your feet, Prasada Parottanasana. Inhale up, exhale, hands to the ground, drop your head. Just for fun, you could try to bring your feet as far apart as possible. You don't have to, but you can try. You'll never know until you try. You'll never get there until you try. So maybe you come down onto your elbows, the center splits. Okay, heel toe those feet back towards each other. Oh, oh, oh. Very sexy. Bend your knees, come all the way up. Feet together. Sun salutation, just to clear it out and finish it out. Exhale, fold forward and down. Come halfway up, inhale. Step back to plank, exhale, take a big inhale. And exhale, lower down. Let's do three cobras. Inhale, chest up, press your hips down. Exhale, lower. Keep the hips down, inhale. Shoulders back, stick your chest out more. Exhale, down. One more time, inhale. Exhale, this time to downward facing dog. Five deep breaths. Push your hands into the ground. I'm sliding on the sand. <laughs> it's okay, it's making it more of a good exercise. Child's pose, relax. Let your forehead release to the ground. Awesome job, you guys. I'm so proud of you for your work today. I can't wait to see you again tomorrow for yoga, for our strength workouts. Have a great day. Namaste. Thank you so much for visiting Jim Ra. Don't forget to click the info link below in the description for details on this workout, behind the scenes of us getting caught under the water, and more good information. Also, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, it's free. Click subscribe. Do it now. See you soon.